How's it going, everybody? Hey, I'm going to tell you guys about uh, the pantry bugs that I had, how I got it solved, how I fixed the problem. So I uh, did a lot of research and homework. Here's what I came up with. First of all, what I had, okay? These are the little bugs that I had. They're itty-bitty. They're about three millimeters. But I'll show you what they look like, okay? These ones over here are... Come on. Come on, zoom in. There you go. Now I'm getting it. Okay, I'm going to put some light on it. There you go. Those are the bugs I have. Okay, all their brothers and sisters are currently dead. These guys, I think, are still alive. Yeah, they're still alive. You can see them moving there. But these ones over here are the sawtooth giant beetles. Um, oh, no, wait a minute. I found out that the other ones, they're the flying version. The sawtooth um, uh, giant beetles are the other ones. These are the ones that fly. Uh, you can tell by the shape of the head. Oh, I forget the name of it. I'll put it in the title so you guys know, okay? But this is how I solved it, okay, guys? Uh, the lots of homework and stuff. Uh, this is what I found. Check this out. It's pretty cool, okay? Inside my pantry. Okay. I'll tell you about that in a sec. Inside my pantry in here, I found them all over the place, okay? All over. So here's what I did. I took out everything that I could, and I packed it in my freezer, okay? My research says that if you put it in the freezer for three days, it kills any bugs, any larvae, or any eggs. In addition to that, I didn't really read this anywhere, but I found that if you boil it, you can actually kill it. So that's what all this, every one of these cans have been boiled. Like for only about five to seven seconds is all it really takes to kill the bugs. So these all been boiled. Now, obviously a bug's not gonna get in here, but it could be living up in the cracks. And so that was a concern. So I also put some other food in some freezer outside and some other things. But the big thing is, is I couldn't get down in all the little cracks and crevices and not everything in my pantry could be boiled. For example, taco seasoning and stuff. They're not in here, but what about breadcrumbs? Oops, I just spilt those everywhere. Um, those are not, that's actually seasonings. But anyways, so I couldn't boil this stuff and I didn't want to throw it out. So I found, some online literature says that if you can get it up to 150 degrees or 140 degrees for four hours, it will kill everything. So I put this, my turkey boiler, inside of there, my propane cylinder here. Then I put my meat thermometer in here. It's currently 91 degrees in here. Put one up here up high, the other one down here low. And I ran it for three hours. And now I come in here and I see all these bugs are dead. Let me see if I can zoom in on these. I don't know if the camera's gonna let me. Oh, they're so tiny. Let's see if it'll let me. Okay, let's see. Well, shit, the camera's misbehaving. Anyways, the point is they're dead now. I found these all over the place. Every little one that I find, they're all dead. See, here's another little one over here. Let's see. Yep, here's another little one. See, it's dead too. So this plan freaking worked amazingly. Everything in here is like, ow, it's too hot to touch, but it didn't hurt anything. The machine still turn on, so no problem. The light switch still turns on and off. Okay, but just to be safe, because I had a hot water heater in here, I went ahead and turned the valve off and that turns the pressure off. And then I, oh, at the kitchen sink, I went ahead and turned the faucet on and that shuts the pressure down in here so the pressure doesn't get too high in here i also turn the gas off so that way there's no uh, natural gas flowing in here so that way this tank didn't get extra hot because it's not designed to be heated up to 160 degrees in here now i had that thing burning right down here but i had a fan right over here blowing over the top so it didn't melt the ceiling but the other fan i was using actually quit working unfortunately and when it quit working this happened to my ceiling so needless to say this thing is to do um it kind of sucks my fan stopped but i put this up here and it seemed to work just fine and the temperature stayed exactly the same so this project is now done these bugs are now killed and i'm ready to put my pantry back together so um this is how i solved it and i hope you figure out a way to do this yourself um, with the boiler, I had to have it up pretty high for about 20 minutes. Once I got the temperature up in there, then I turned it way down to just a crack. And yeah, it freaking worked great. Once I got the temperatures adjusted, I held a temperature of about 154, I think it was. 
and I held the temperature for like two and a half hours after I got it fine-tuned it went up a little high to 160 then I brought it down a little and I went around there and so it, it killed all the bugs so we should be good so anyways that's how I killed them maybe you can find something useful out of here and uh, I will update the comments below if I see them come back at all and I find that this doesn't work uh, I'll update my comment on this so that way you'll know but if I don't update it it means that they're still gone so I did find some oatmeal that they were infested in and some rice they were infested in. So obviously I threw away all the infested stuff. Everything else that did went in here just in case they happen to be like in my ramen in a pack down over here and they climbed through a tiny little hole in here and was nesting or putting eggs in here. Uh, my research says that you have to put stuff in the freezer for 72 hours. I'm going to leave it in there for four days just to make sure. And my freezer up over here, this one over here is negative 110 or yeah, negative 10 degrees. And my other one outside was negative 14 degrees. And my one upstairs is like eight degrees. So, um, yeah. Ta-da! Problem solved. <laughs> I hope it helps. Later.